other things that I think is important to, to realize, especially for newer triathletes who don't have a lot of experience in ocean, open water, triathlon swims, is you, you've got to have an expectation that when the swim portion of the race is over, that when you do go to transition from swimming to standing up for the run out of the water, probably going to be feeling a little queasy and it, and it might be very difficult for you to, to find some balance and find your legs on the run out so if you're feeling some fatigue towards the end of your swim you want to be preparing for that little extra effort that's going to be required as you're coming in so catching your breath maybe slowing down your pace of the swim a little bit starting to feel comfortable and confident about what's going to be required on this final section and the exit of the swim so that when you go to to either catch a wave or lift yourself up and start running you're going to have the energy and the air and you're going to feel confident in your ability to do that when you're swimming into the surf, when you take a stroke, take a look back to see if there's any waves coming. Some guys flip on their back. If it's a big day, you could flip on your back and do some backstroke and see if there's a wave coming. Because if there's a wave coming, it's a free ride. You kick as hard as you can. You try to get as long as you can because it'll pick your speed up, you know, and then you drop in. Always, you know, have your arms in front of you so you don't hit your head. You could definitely hit your head in conditions like this, low tide, shallow. Uh, for sure, fire away is you hit the bottom with your stroke and then you're up. Once you uh, get to about, you know, thigh high, high step back in and have enough energy, you know, for that last oomph to really hit it 100% run up the beach. That's about it, yeah.